All right, here's the review of the Surai, however you want to say it, the 35T1.2, as well as the 23 millimeter F1.2 APS-C. The autofocus version is the one in my hand, and then this is the Cine lens that is all manual. So these both suck. I bought them brand new. I'm going to show you this. This is going to be kind of hard to see. So what you're seeing in there, the little tiny metal shavings, there's some right there. And those metal shavings are because uh, these are really cheaply made. The first time I put it on, I thought I was on wrong because when I attached it to the camera, it was grinding, like terrible sound. So I stopped, took it off and tried again several times. I finally just twisted and it was like literally fingernails on a chalkboard. It was terrible. And now I'm afraid I damaged my X-T5, which is the camera you were viewing through right now. So listen to this. If I disconnect this, let's see if you can hear it. I'm gonna put my microphone right next to the camera. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is not good. Can you see those? Probably not. There's little tiny metal shavings right there. Those little tiny silver pieces just in front of the electrical connectors are in fact metal shavings because these are not machined properly. This right here, these metal rings going around and that causes it to grind. It sounds terrible. You really have to hear this in person to grasp it, but you can feel it. You can feel it metal on metal, like sharp burrs. The same thing is true for 23 millimeter. This one, the smaller autofocus lens. This does the same thing. So I'm gonna set the mic beside this camera, see if you can hear the difference. Listen. Oh, it's so bad. There's, that's, Getting little metal shavings right inside there. It's terrible. I'm gonna set this back down and listen to it taking it off. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you can see this. Okay, there's no autofocus on this lens that I'm using, which is the Cine lens from Surai. Surai, I'm just gonna say Surai. Squeaky chair. This is my Fujifilm 1680 autofocus lens. This is a legit brand name Fujifilm. Right there, okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you listen to this instead. I got my microphone right here. This is how it should sound. I don't know if the mic is gonna allow you to hear that well enough. Do not buy these because they scratch this surface and they will, they'll make it They'll make it extra play in this so that your nice lenses that do fit properly will not sit flush. This is a warning to anyone trying to buy these lenses. They're cheap for a reason. Um, they're okay, like the actual functionality is all right. There's some pretty bad chromatic aberration. So the edges of pictures get blurry and have like a blue tone to them. It doesn't look very professional. If you're going for that look, cool. But just know that this, the, both of these from the same manufacturer Different lenses, same company, they both are machined improperly. The tolerances aren't right. So when you go to attach them to the face of your camera, you're going to grind down this surface and it will damage your camera. There's little lines and streaks where it's been grinding on the cameras and I've definitely taken off some metal, which is really bad. And I'm gonna return these both. This feels like crap. It just feels really plasticky. This one is a little bit better quality build, the Cine lens, but the throw for this focus is so long. <laughs> it's almost unusable. See how long it takes to... You cannot do this with a steady hand. It is impossible to focus it properly. So I wish they made this just a little bit faster so I could get one full rotation. It'd be way better. The, but yeah, don't buy these if you don't want your camera's face to be ground down right here from these cheap lenses, so don't use them. Stick with Fuji or, or Viltrox is my recommendation. Good luck.